Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a Q&A with this bad boy right here. Hey, it's me Elliot again. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's me. Um, yeah, so if you wanted to stay tuned and watch Elliot eat some Vegemite toast, keep watching. Hooray. Wow. And hit that subscribe. Wow. Cool. And hit that subscribe button if you would like to do that also. That would be lovely of you. Perfect. Perfect. Alrighty, so we've got some questions. I asked my loyal Instagram followers to uh, comment on a uh, Insta story of mine and ask us some questions, specifically Elliot, I oh, guess. Boy. Wow. Here we go. Um, so Elliot doesn't know any of these questions. I am not going to put who wrote the question. Um, I'm just going to ask away. But there were a few questions about Vegemite. So first up, Elliot, uh, would you show everyone what we have over here? It's a generously topped <laughs> Vegemite. Tea. I love Vegemite. Elliot has tried Vegemite before, disclaimer. But uh, what do you think of Vegemite and my culture? Uh, it's got a lingering taste, but it's good. It's like not as jarring as I thought it would be. I mean, it's jarring, don't get me wrong, but hey, it's not gross. It's salty. It's very salty, I found. So. Okay. Have a I'll bite. I'll tell you how it is after this. Have a bite. Right. Well, Elliot tucks into the Vegemite. I'm going to ask some questions. Um... Oh, it's so salty. <laughs> okay, so the, your, your response to Vegemite is it's salty, and it's not that bad. No, that's good. Okay, done. I think I've had it, like, it? a long, long time ago. I feel like my dad gave it to me. Has your dad been when I was a child. No, but he likes to expand the horizons. I've never so. seen Vegemite in a supermarket here. I guess maybe specialty ones? Maybe? Yeah. I mean, there's always those international aisles, so yeah. it's not really the rarest thing in the world, I feel like. Just right. a side note, the best thing I did when I moved here to Vancouver is join all those like Aussies in Vancouver pages. Like there's Aussies in Canada, Aussies in Vancouver, and I feel like if you ask anyone where to get like Milo or Vegemite, they'd be able to tell you. Just a side note to any Aussies who want to move to Canada. You can get it here, but it's very, very hard to get. So I just buy it when I go home. Anyway, question number two. Um, can you say a sentence in French? <laughs> Je m'appelle Elliot, I think is my... <laughs> I can say that. Well, no, is my <laughs> response then. No, no, you can, but like. Yeah, very what's... basic, very basic. I mean, I stopped doing French in uh, eighth grade. So year nine, I think that's in. Hey, what were you, 14, 15? Yeah, about that. Because we've got year seven, year eight, year nine. So year nine, you're 14, 20, 15. Yeah, I think it's about that. But. Um... Could you say anything else? Because I feel like most of them can be like a jume pal sasha. Ah, comme si comme ça means so so. Today be. That's not a sentence. No, I know, but I'm saying I can't say a sentence. I'm like, because I never really got into the French language, but. Uh, What's do you want to like debunk the myth that like all Canadians can speak French? I would say that the West Coast, so past, even like Saskatchewan, West Coast is very not French. You're not going to find a ton of people who speak French here. Um, with any amount of fluidity or even like understand it. But um, it is in our school systems, you have to take it up until grade eight, uh, year nine. And, uh, but East Coast you find more, especially like Quebec is full on like Francophone. And their French is very different. Yeah. I was working with someone from um, Paris and they were speaking French to someone from uh, Quebec and even they couldn't really understand each other in terms of like the slang is different. So like basic French, they could sort of speak, but then they were like, oh, sorry, what were you saying? Like they were sort of confused and I was watching being like, but it's French, but it's not. So yeah. that's uh, something that I learned while living here. Okay. Um, hey, would you like to come to Sarajevo again? Warm hugs from your tour guide. I would love to come back to Sarajevo. Um, I went there in 2018 with my one of my best friends, Lizzie on my big Euro trip. So Sarajevo is in Bosnia and Herzegovina. I can never say the last one. So everyone just says Bosnia because the other country, like the other name in the country is very hard. Um, but I learned a lot about Sarajevo through Adrian because his parents um, studied there and met there. Um, so like I had known about the city and then my friend Lauren, shout out to you Lauren, 
um, inspired me to go there. So Lizzie and I went there as part of our travels and I would happily go back there when COVID is lifted and everyone can travel. Um, yeah, Europe, I miss Europe so much. Hi, someone just said hi. Um, oh, okay. Do you dream in color or in black and white? Color for sure. Yeah, yeah I think exclusively. I don't, I don't know if I've ever had a black and white dream, if I'm being honest. Not that I can think of right now. But yeah, definitely full color, full real life. Yeah. So. Do you dream about stuff that's quite realistic or is it like completely um, like It feels realistic. No, like being chased or having like a, like uh, being accused of murder or Ooh. yeah, something like <laughs> chase dreams <laughs> and then like uh, finding money dreams and I feel like people are going to go into this and be like, you have problems. <laughs> You're like, wow, you have, have you seen a psychologist yet? Or? So, um, but no, no, I, yeah. have you dreamed, like I dream, like if I'm watching RuPaul for a straight week, I will have like elements of my dreams that involve like RuPaul or like the queens on there or like the colors. It has something to do with a TV show I've been watching or um, films. Does that come into play with yeah, you? Yeah, it definitely does for sure. Although some things pop up without actually seeing them. Like I always had like a uh, uh, fear of Chucky. As a child, I hate well, it's a nightmare show. But um, <laughs> even if I haven't watched it for a long time, every now and then, if I have like a nightmare or something like that, he'll like pop up and start chasing me or something like that. You're I've like, dealt with it more Chucky, what you doing? recent, like in recent years, You've I guess. With your yeah, right? yeah, I haven't had very far and few, a few between. But um, and then I'm able to like work with it better in my dream because I felt helpless as a child where. Now I can sort of fight back towards it, but it's always in a wooded area, which is weird. I'm well, always in like a mountain in Canada, area. So. Yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right. there we go. Question answered. Um, I think this is obviously for me. Um, what about Vancouver made you decide to move here? Well, I met um, Elliot in a web chat, um, and no. It's not true. Um, so I decided I had a very. Um, yeah, a huge shift in my life happened in 2017. Terrible, terrible breakup, and that kind of cut gave me a release of freedom. And I was like, I'm gonna figure out where I wanna go. At the time, it was London, and I just really wanted to go to the UK. It was such a thing, like a lot of Aussies just go to the UK, and London, I've always loved London. I've been there a few times, and I was like, okay. But what would I do in London? And I was still very interested in doing, um, pursuing my acting career after I did, <clears throat> excuse me, after I did journalism. I was like, look, I love journalism, but I still really love um, acting and I have the degree in acting. So I was like, look, what can I do with this? And um, there was a girl from my uni who was already in Vancouver and she was auditioning quite a lot. Shout out to you, Molly, um, if you ever watch this. And I had messaged her just asking how it was, what it was like. I guess just putting the feelers out and that was the only person I knew who was there honestly so I just saved and sort of put things into place and then just decided to go um, to pursue acting so I've always wanted to live overseas and I've always wanted to be an actor since I was like 16 17 and there's a huge film um, TV industry here in BC so there's always something filming I'm sure you've seen like a million sets around being like yeah it's just close to the border Close to LA, it's cheaper for the US to film stuff here in BC. So things are just filming here, as well in Toronto, of course, but Toronto is like scarily cold. And I, that, I don't know, there's like extremes. You've lived in Toronto, yeah, you yeah. know. Um, so yeah, I just chose Vancouver. Um, asked again, like a couple of people asked, like a travel agent, what suburb to live in. Just, yeah, came here for acting. And then, yeah, I'm now getting my permanent residency to stay, and this one certainly helps me want to stay as well. So why not? Next question. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Should I say that? Yeah, why not? Does Elliot miss you coming home smelling like pickles? I don't think they have like an overt smell. I honestly don't and think they You're like, do. I reek like pickles, and I'm like, I can't smell the pickles per se. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, it's my job you, at the you, he, she brings home lots of pickles, you know? Yeah. I have, I have yeah. He's we're, we're stocked up on pickles, so. Stocked up on the pickles. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I'm not obsessed with pickles. I'm working at a, um, a pickle shop at the moment. 
like retail. Um, and yeah, it's not a thing in Australia. Pickles aren't a big deal, but here they're a big deal and people love them. They so. love them. Artisan pickles. <laughs> Seventeen dollar so. pickles. <laughs> but yeah, I don't. I don't think. I think I'm conscious of it because other people are like, oh wow, I can really smell the garlic, and I'm like, I don't know. But as long <laughs> as <laughs> not on me. Like when I get home. Uh, and. Uh, oh my gosh. There are questions in different inboxes and stuff, so give me a sec. Do you have any questions for me, Elliot? <laughs> Just on a spot, huh? Uh, um, hmm. What was your first impression of Vancouver? Ooh. Um, well, sadly, I came when the, there was some bushfires happening or like grass fires, so I couldn't see the mountains. So I came at the end of August 2018 and I was like, where are the mountains? I've seen in pictures that there are mountains supposed to be here and it was just smog and the weather was really weird and it was just eerie because there were fires. So I was like, oh no. And then after a few weeks when it cleared up, it was just beautiful. I came at a really good time at the end of August, start of September. It's not raining yet. Um, so it was just very green. Everything is green. There's just a the green grass everywhere. There's like tulips and daffodils and everything's flowering and um, I just thought it was a very new city. Like the waterfront area is just like very blue sort of 80s, like 70s, 80s buildings. Just looks like a newer city and it's very like, it looks well planned out. But it doesn't look like old school, like a Montreal or whatever, not that I've been there. But like it doesn't look, coming from, I did like a big Euro trip then went to Vancouver. It was very much like, oh this is a new western city. It's a newer city. Yeah. yeah. It's not like, you know hundred year old churches yeah. and stuff like that. So And the bus drivers are so nice here and like I got a lot of my first like impressions from people in like on transit or like just people in shops and everyone's very friendly. So I didn't feel as like alone at the beginning. It does get lonely for sure, like when you hear like and you don't have many friends yet, it's a hard city to make friends. But um as a whole it was just a pretty pretty city. Good question, Pink. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um are uh, there any differences in dating someone from another country? Yeah, all, all your culture things, like Vegemite and... It, it's, I think How it's, does that come into I think it's relations? humor. I think humor is a big one because, like, you kind of introduced me to Catholic Kim and stuff like that, and I <laughs> would watch. And it was funny just as a show, but when you would tell me kind of the more deeper jokes, like of, of like, certain shops or the shopping mall that, they, that I was placed in or... Even like, yeah, yeah. it's it's a lot that's more hard because I'm like, when they reference like Eddie, I know that's Eddie McGuire from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. I would never know that. Like, owns like the Collingwood, like Magpies footy and stuff. Like, it's very Melbourne based as well. So, I don't even know if people from Queensland or New South Wales could relate as much as someone from Melbourne watching that show. Yeah, true. I guess that's a little bit more, it's very niche. <laughs> yeah, um, but I took a I like waited before showing you that. That's I true. feel That's like true. I didn't want to escape. But I don't think there's <laughs> think too yeah. much. I don't think there's too much. Is no. there anything with like how we like went on dates or anything that you're like, oh I have to approach this differently because she's Australian? No, I didn't think about that unfortunately. <laughs> I don't know if I should have either, but I, uh, I feel like if I yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Of, like, snow or mountains, it was very Oh my god, I was like, wow. <laughs> Whereas somebody from here would be like, ah and then they've seen that before or like mm. whatever. I guess novelty is things. Yeah. Would be um, the difference, but no, like when not I see so squirrels, much. Yeah, that's true. Like... <laughs> so, uh, like wildlife, like squirrels, deer, um, deer raccoons? you really haven't seen. Raccoons. Yeah, raccoons. I love them. Uh, the occasional skunk in the West End. I love them. <laughs> They're so cute. But I've just seen those so much throughout my life, where it's sort of just like now I'm like I'm still like yeah. oh hey, but it's like not it's like, like excited. Yeah. You know? Oh, and I had. Um question um from uh, i'm not saying who it's from um what are you most excited about seeing or doing when you go to australia <sighs> i kind of want to get the the sa the sausage the the, the bunning sausage, the bunning sausage yeah. <laughs> i'm about that <laughs> i've spoken about that to you so like, much oh yeah yeah give me that, me that sausage. sausage yeah um <laughs> yeah so but, it's literally just a beef sausage and bread and you get like tomato sauce Sometimes mustard and maybe some onions if it's like a bougie sort of it's just like a fundraiser outside of all the Bunnings yeah. warehouses I mean, I want to see Melbourne. I want to take the because I haven't had Australian coffee like you guys are talking uh -huh. about and I'm all about the coffee so 
Um, that. I love it. Uh, obviously, like the beaches and stuff like that. But yeah. You don't really like the beach. Well, you it depends. The beach? I mean, I've. Uh, it's gonna be like, I'd be oh, very hot. <laughs> yeah, but you can swim in your beaches. Yes. Whereas, like here, it's like you can swim in them, but it's gonna be cold. And it's, and it's gonna be nice not very nice, mm -hmm. and at least around Vancouver. But like, if we were going to like Tofino or something in on like Vancouver Island, that's nice. But that's like a six-hour trip mm -hmm. one way. So uh, Australia, I'm excited to go to like because you've said they're very nice beaches. Where here is a lot of rocks. The best. Like I think the only one near us would be Tofino. That would be actual sand sand, mm -hmm. where the beaches and lakes and stuff is mostly rock based so it's like a little rougher you can't really you can go barefoot but it might hurt so but yeah i'm excited for that yay hooray cool so we're gonna wrap up the question and answers now um if you have any more questions for us just pop them in the um, comment section and if we get enough we can make another video down the line um, but yeah, shoot us any requests of what you'd like us to film while we're here in quarantine. Who knows how long we'll be here for. We've got nothing but time. Nothing but time. And I'm going to enjoy the rest of the toast I because mean, I don't think Elliot's going to... I might have it. one more, but, but it's, it's a lot from time to time. So. Like, that's a lot. Anyone who like... She was heaping. He was heaping. It's mm. like a Tom Hanks for, like, version of Vegemite. He had to apologize. He puts a bunch of Vegemite on. I like a lot though. I like a lot of flavor though. I chuck so much sauce on and stuff. And you have like an end piece of the bread too. I don't know if you knew about that, but what's wrong with that? Uh, it's not the it's not the best piece in the world. Wow, rude. But... Alrighty, do you want to sign us off? All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Again, if you want to uh, keep uh, keep learning about us and and seeing a little bit more into our lives, hit the subscribe button. Yes. Um, and yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>